I told myself I was going to make a video today, so I am making a video today. Hi friends! What am I going to talk about today? Uh, there's a number of things I can talk about, so briefly I will just go over all of them. Uh, I started playing D&D. &D. This is our fourth session that we just finished today, and I absolutely love it. It's so much fun. Um, Basically, I love it because it's nerdy and also it's part theater and I really miss acting. Um, that was a thing that I used to do when I was a kid and so it's been kind of fun to delve into that a little bit but also be a super mega nerd. Um, also, you know, like, or you may not know, but I have mentioned before that we have a game session with friends IRL that is uh, Gloomhaven and I painted a mini and that was also a lot of fun so it turns out I'm that kind of nerd um, also the other thing that I've been doing is writing a lot of poetry um, like a lot of poetry I've been trying to do a poem every day but some days I go back to a poem and work on it again and I'm counting that as working on a poem so that's another thing that I've been doing I want to try to get in better shape so I've been trying to exercise more and I'm also hoping to start dancing. Uh, I don't have any idea what that's going to look like, but it's a thing that makes my heart happy, so I'm going to try to work on doing it. So those are like my quick updates. Um, but the thing, this is going to be a Liz asks a question and wants to have a conversation video. So my question is, how do you, unrelated to anything that I just talked about, how do you trust people? How do you choose who to trust? And what uh, makes somebody trustworthy? Um, not going into breaking said trust, but just in the beginning, what uh, sets someone up to know you better than I guess other people do, or to know more about you than you would share with a random stranger? Um, I was thinking about this because I share different information with different people about myself. Sorry, it's, it's really shaky. Um, I haven't held a camera in a while. Anyway, um, I share different information about myself with different people. I used to be an open book and I got hurt a lot by doing that, so I stopped doing that. Um, but recently I'm, st I'm starting to kind of like, I guess sort of piecemeal could say information about myself um, to people as I feel like I can trust them and for me it's really just a feeling um, it's a it's a gut feeling there's I guess there has to be I guess there has to be some uh, facts involved but I don't I mean they have to be someone that you know I speak to on a somewhat regular basis they have to be someone who I feel like I've shared a small thing with and they didn't betray my trust on that. So it's sort of like a, a, a upgrading thing. Um, but also, ooh, bats. I don't know if you guys can see them, but that was cool. Anyway, um, it's a thing of trusting people uh, with small things and then kind of going from there. Uh, the more that you trust them with, the more you start to trust them with more, and then it just snowballs out of control, and then it becomes the trust ball that crushes everything. Wow. Anyway, um, I do find that it helps to not give people too much of yourself also. That's another thing that I used to do. I used to be not only an open book, but I was an open book that, like, I wanted you to sit down and read in, like, one day afternoon. Um... So I'm also learning to kind of be more reserved and to not, to be myself, but to not share all of myself immediately. Um, so that's another like lesson that I've learned the hard way. Um, but I'm very curious, like what other people's criteria is for trusting people and how much of it is feeling and how much of it is like, I guess, I don't know, like numbers or facts or like things that you can quantify that goes into trusting another person and um you know 
we, we always take a chance, I guess, on trusting people. I guess there's always that possibility that uh, they won't be worthy of your trust. But I've, I'm finding the more that I do it in, in this slow sort of way and like kind of giving little pieces of myself instead of the whole thing, um, I'm actually finding that more people are good and trustworthy uh, when I'm, I guess, when I'm not overwhelming. I don't know how that, I don't know if that correlates to the people or just how I'm handling the situation because I know I don't have the same people in my life that I used to. Um, so I can't, like, scientifically say, you know, it's the same group of people, only I'm handling it differently. But it is interesting to see how I have a lot more really quality people in my life now. And I mean, I literally have more and more quality people in my life now. So I'm sure that says something about me, but I don't really want to handle that right now. So anyway, I would love to know, um... How do you choose who you trust? What are the factors involved and what what goes into deciding to trust someone? All right, friends, um, I'll see you when I see you. I'm doing a lot and I'm very happy and I'm also very unhappy. Um, I hope that that makes sense because both can be true. Um, but I miss you, and I love you, and I hope that you are doing well. All right. Bye.